What's going on, family? You know the voice. You know the choice. Ebony Republicans. Guys, today we're going to be weighing in on Earl Spence Jr., Earl the Truth Spence Jr. And I just want to talk to a couple of these fight fans out here who, you know, by the way, we coming live from Dallas, Texas. And uh, shout out to uh, Ugas Camp. Uh, shout out to, obviously, Mr. Himself, King. God of the 147-pound weight division, also known as the welterweight, Earl the Truth Spence Jr. I was at his last fight at the AT&T Stadium. I was in the building. It was a magnificent fight. Uh, all props, all, you know, respect for both sides. Um, they, I mean, being in the building and seeing when the mouthpiece dropped and, like I said, Ugas his demeanor has always been he mean business so you know i was just you know wanting earl to do to his best and like i said man like like uh ishmael said um the trainer of, of ugas like that guy that night you know he, it was just his night he was the better guy he was just he had that glow but guys what i want to talk about very briefly real quick is you guys kill me how you 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 guys mess up athletes all the time with your big ass mouth on this guy. That's all they needed to give your ass was some YouTube. And now look at your ass. You monetize and talking crazy. Guys, shout out to uh, Ebony Republicans again. Also, check out our, our, our Spotify. Uh, Ebony Republicans, check us out on Spotify. Guys, look, seriously, everybody talking this Jerome Boots in this mess. Bro, why y'all trying to mess up that boy's career? Y'all talking about this is a high-risk uh, fight for Spence. No, it ain't. Spence done made money. Spence got cows, chickens, farms. That nigga already is the American dream. You heard me? He going down in history. Nigga had three world time, you know. Uh, I mean, he got three belts right now. The WBC, the WBA, and the IBF. Nigga done chip Mayweather up in sparring. And going after champions, y'all told me, oh, why don't you stop and take a break and come get boots? For what? This is a high-risk fight for boots as well. Even if he get a draw or even knock down or even potentially lose, his whole shit is derailed and didn't make no fucking money. When he could make some goddamn money, stay on the rise, stay that dude, that's the boogeyman. Let Earl go ahead and get this last strap, vacate the belts, and go collect them. Set the deck. If I'm Boots, I want a new deck anyway, man. Crawford and Spence, y'all going to get on up out of here, man. Not that I wouldn't want to fight a great fighter like y'all in my lifetime. People want to fight Pacquiao. People want to fight Mayweather. But sometimes they just not in your generation. Thurman wanted uh, Mayweather. He probably wanted Pacquiao too. Everybody did, really. The ones that was the young guys in right now. And, and look, the, the guys knew when it was time for them to go. Now, I believe in that fight, Boots could possibly get a decision over Earl Spencer Jr. If any, that he's able to, you know, uh, stay elusive in and out, uh, in and out, uh, in and out, you know, just stay fresh in and out. All the way to the end, in and out. That's all we're looking for. You know, like Bozy said, man, in and out. You understand? Not sitting there trying to trade with Spence. Y'all act like he could possibly not beat Spence and wind up or beat Spence and wind up with a goddamn fracture, broken this or that. The, the, the risk for going against. And now I'm going to tell you this. People are not talking about this. I believe Sean Porter was a lot more hurt than what they tell us. And I think that fight with Earl Spence, believe it or not, whether his spine shifted, I'm telling you, go look back, look at that nigga neck turn, okay? That nigga from that fight on, you understand me? He was not the same Sean Porter, bro. When he went up, and his father know that he just ain't going to really, really say it like that. That's why they were su uh, surprised when Kenny was like, Earl Spence. He know, even though you saw a dog fight with Earl and Porter, 
and you didn't su supposedly because it was a dog fight with him and Terrence. If you ask me the right shots or if he would have just stayed doing what he was doing, he beat Crawford. All he had to do was last to the 12th round like that and he beat Crawford. Crawford was getting that, that work, bro. Real talk. His corner was like, bro, you losing, bro. You need to come on and, and, and shift to the next gear. I believe if Sean would have fought Crawford first, he would have got a decision, or at least if he would have lost, it would have been a, the fight of the ages. And I believe his father knew that. His father said he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. But again, guys, listen. Why do y'all want to keep throwing Jerron under the fucking bus? He got Virgil. He got money up there. He got Devin and them niggas he can fight once they come up or keep talking, whatever. You know, he can go for Shakur and them fools if they want to come up and move out. He can go for Tank. He got a whole new generation, bro. You understand me? He got old cats hanging around trying to get back in like Thurman. He got enough heat. Why would you sentence Boots to go for some crazy shit like this? I could tell some of y'all is just like them pe them kids in the, in the school back in the days who just wanted to see a fight, goddamn instigator. And you think because Spencer is not falling over to say, come on, give me this IBF mandatory, give me this mandatory. Bro, I respect what Spencer's doing. He don't need to be in here for 50 fucking fights. The nigga said he want to go in there. Y'all see what he doing. He ain't showed those doors he was knocking on, the big fish. And a bunch of other little doors or a bunch of other little fish or jellyfish. He ain't worried about that. He don't want none of that, bro. I believe, and I would not be mad. I would love Spence. If you can't get this uh, uh, third or uh, fourth, fourth belt, the WBO, from Terrence Crawford because they keep fucking playing, bro, I would vacate them fucking belts and get up out of here, bro. You still unlimited. You still Showtime. You still that nigga. You still three-time champion, okay? Go, uh, you know, move up. And keep doing your thing. Or let two of them hoes go and keep one. Until you see what you want to do next. Go back and get them again. Just, I mean, you could do whatever you want to do, bro. Or just go start fighting dudes. That's a name. And, and you're going to make millions and millions and millions of dollars across seas who, you know what I'm saying? These little local, local niggas is who we know, but they got some heads out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell, you know, you, you know, make some make some good fights out there, man. There's some good fights. Some cats overseas talking mess. Cats coming up to 47 right now. There's so many different things, you know, Spence could do. You know what I mean? You can, he can fight Roley if he want for talking shit. You understand me? He could uh, turn around and fight Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? He can give, I mean, if Sean Porter was here, he could have probably got a rematch. You know what I mean? Talking all that shit. This time we waxed that ass. Okay, you do not have to go boots. Y'all like, why don't you go boots? Why don't you? Because if you are boxing, you don't want nothing to get in this young man's way for when Spence and, 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 and Crawford is going. We got that guy. We got that cash cow. See, Hulk Hogan, okay, and Macho Man did not clash for years. You understand me? And Ultimate Warrior and all these. Sometimes champions and, and greats have to run alongside like, like Jordan and Bird. Bro, listen. You understand me? If I'm Boots and or Bozy, I am not trying to get Boots in a rush in the ring with Spence. Right now, his his major, 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 major fight of the century, the year. I mean, you got Ryan Garcia still around. May move up in his way. You got Canelo still around, you know, that you could scrap with. That's real niggas, man, that's, that'll light your legacy up. You understand? You know, I mean, Boots really, 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 really could reign for a long, long time. And it won't be like, oh, he, you know, didn't fight nobody and he was running because... You know, those guys are going to be going and they're going to be moving on. You understand? Even Spence said it, if he get this next strap anyway, or after this last fight with Terrence Crawford, he's gone. Crawford said he's going to go do his thing. You understand me? They're going to go take their careers where they want to go take them. They're not sanctioned by no fucking belts. They don't fuck about no goddamn belts, man. Belts ain't getting me paid. The belts are taking money off me. The belts make it look good, and they come with perks and whatnot. But Spence do not need this damn fight. This nigga is that nigga right now. He like Canelo. 
You know what I'm saying? He, he don't need no Boots fight. And, and no disrespect, Boots ain't make no motherfucking money yet. Let Boots make some fucking money. The nigga is just got on a board on Monopoly. The nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't got no property. He ain't got shit happening right now. What the fuck? I'm going to go in there and fight him and turn this nigga into an instant golden goose right now while I still got a bunch of shit left in me to do. You understand me? It don't make no motherfucking sense. You know what I'm saying? Now, we talking about Boots. Niggas is going to sit up here and pay that Terrence Crawford money. They're going to pay that Mayweather and Pacquiao money to see me fight Boots. Yo, we can fuck you, Terrence. We're going to go and get Boots. Why he still coming up in this thing? You know what I'm saying? We could do that. But it ain't even there. He make more money uh, uh, fighting Ryan Garcia at a catchway. Oh, that ain't no great. Fuck you. Mayweather getting his money. Look, Spence ain't here. I believe Spence could be anybody in the game. But my G, I want you to know, Spence, if you listen to this shit, bro, yo, you don't got to go out there and fight Arnold Schwarzenegger. And we know, you know, look, we know you could be anybody out there at 147 and probably the greatest since, you know, Sugar Ray and a lot of them boys and, and well to wait. I ain't going to disrespect the guys who came before you either. There's some greats. But look, you, you, you that dude right now, bro. I wish, I wish a nigga would. Bro, if, if I was in his position, bro... I be looking at fights all over the map. Y'all, y'all little locals always talking about his mandatory. Let's go, this nigga. When you got them belts, family. When you got them straps, you that nigga. You got Jerry Jones on you, nigga. You from Texas, bro. You can fight whoever the fuck you want right now, man. You know what I mean, we can fuck around and fight Logan Paul, bitch. If that shit gonna make some money, fuck that shit. Y'all niggas talking about, oh goofy ass nigga. We gonna stay on this boxing shit for a minute. Shout out to my nigga Money Brown, bro. Putting these niggas straight, bro. You the only one out here. For the most part, who is speaking in behalf of our good state of Texas when it comes down to Earl the True Spence Jr. And we thank you, brother, making that sense for us and boys out there in La La Land, man. Family, check me out. Ebony Republicans, just giving you my side of the story. You understand? Yeah, I'm riding with Earl all the way. I, I, I done put my baby mama, my children's and everything. So this is an Earl Spence Jr. house. You understand me? My my uh my baby mama argue your ass down about uh about Earl Spence, man. So, you know, my kids, you know I me. Mean? Yeah, Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Listen, y'all get up on it, man. Stop playing yourself, man. And leave Boots the hell alone, man. You know what I mean? Leave Boots alone. Gilly, mind your got dog on your, your, your rap. You know, keep that going, dude. You know, I feel respect and market and everything. But leave her alone. <coughs> and Terrence Crawford about to learn that. Bob Aram talking crazy. Oh, at least the best thing you, thing you could do is stay away from this man. Look, let me tell you something. Terrence know that regardless if he win this fight, he coming out of there with a Fricked up eye. See, see, Terrence is going to be an example of what you did not want for Boots. Don't you disrespect Terrence and saying Terrence is not as good as Boots, if not better, at this stage right now. You keep on making him your prospect, and he going to be the next, you know, the next Michael Jordan. You know, he 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 like uh, you know, the Greek freak and whatnot. Okay, yeah, we see that, bro. We 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 know he going to be that dude, bro. He that that Durant nigga, you know, coming up under LeBron. We get that. But what you don't understand, what you're going to learn with Crawford. Crawford could possibly very well win this fight and come out that shit and got to retire because the nigga shit is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? His bone is messed up or the nigga nose or some crazy shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Or some other, you know, fracture of the skull. Bro, that's, Spence is a risk. When the father, yo, listen, Bozy and it said, Oh, no, you don't do that if you Crawford. You don't sit there and trade with Spence. Spence will break you down. Spence, Spence, Spence wants you to sit there and trade with him. You understand me? And Crawford is a hothead. You're going to learn why it's best to keep uh, uh, my boy Boots away from him. <clears throat> Boots could very well go in there and get the W. But again, why right now make that fight? Is if you see Earl leaving with the next year or two, then okay, I can understand that. But if you see him, he's gonna be here for the next five years. I would, if I was them, I would build a boots, uh, a Earl Spence for later on and, and within the, uh, you know, years and things like that. Maybe in 2023 or 2000, and, you know, 24. 
I would not be quick to try to run in there, you know, just communicate, keep an open line of communication with uh Spence people and let them know before you retire, baby Paul. You know what I'm saying? Let us get that get you know, let's get that fade. You know what I'm saying? And I believe, you know, after Spence go and, you know, keep doing him and get what he need to get at some point, either he gonna just become a motherfucking freight train and they not gonna make, let Boots fight him. Uh, or he gonna go up against Boots like a true champion, like Pacquiao, anybody else, Mayweather. Uh, and in this case, probably going, you know, uh, let, let the belts go. He probably going, he could possibly lose it. You know, uh, he's that good. Jerron is that good. Or Jerron can go in there and, <clears throat> you know, be winning the fight damn near and, and, and get hit uh, with a few shots that, you know, change the fight. And we'd be looking at a, you know, a, a, a young uh, Boots just about, you know, uh, covering up like, oh, gosh, because them fucking stones in that hand of Earl's, you understand me? Them shits turn after the third, fourth, and fifth, and sixth round. And the nigga gonna hit you because he got a superb jab. So that's what I'm saying. Y'all niggas have never seen Boots get rocked or Terrence get rocked by a guy who they rocking as well. But a rocking session going on. Spence is that type of fighter. He gonna hit Crawford. He gonna hit Boots. And I, I've, I have not seen Boots get hit. That's what I'm telling you. What y'all think gonna happen when these dudes start getting the hits? And they can't get him up out of there that quick. And the fight keep tearing on and grabbing and hugging all this other stuff. And this be them guys, like I said, could win in a fucking de decision. Great young man, Boots. We got to give it all to you. 12-round decision. It was close. And then you see the nigga hand is fucked up. Or the nigga air low or some crazy shit. You understand know I me? Mean? That's why I'm saying. Or crack rib. Why fight him right now? For what? Y'all let these little fans make you think like you. You know what I'm saying? Bro, yeah, nah, I'm I'm straight on that one, bro. If I'm his people's, nah, bro, I wouldn't even let him fight Terrence. Same same deal. It, he the next generation. Let him stay in his next generation lane. You understand me? You got your Kobe era, let it be your Jordan era, let it be your LeBron era. Now you got your John John Moran and whatever else era, and you know, and there's a bunch of people in amongst that. But, you know, I, I mean, greatness, you know, doesn't... See, you could say, well, who Durant going to go against? He ain't got no more Jordan, so he better go at LeBron for LeBron get out. No, Le LeBron is done, bro. No, you know, he's just a different deal. You understand me? You know, even though I know Boots got the same amount of fights and things like that. But it's just a different deal. He's still of, the, to me, the next generation. And, you know, Durant going to have a many guys to go against to make his greatness... Arguably, like LeBron did, you know, he wasn't in necessarily the Kobe, Kobe, Kobe era. He wasn't necessarily, in the, you know, Iverson, 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 Jordan. You know, he was just like I said, making his mark, getting to it, and shuffling himself around. And then eventually, he became that guy. And it's all about LeBronny right now. And then now we're leaving. It's going to be about you know whoever that's coming up next. Like I said, you maybe Durant may take it. Kyrie, who knows? But uh, for right now, like I said, guys, I'm out of here. Um, peace and blessings, man. Thank everybody for tuning in, and let's get these subscribers back up, man. And then we could take it to where we need to take it. Y'all feel me? Love you much. Let's go.